I was asked to test uh, Kodiak with a 700 microwave for two minutes, but I can't can't find a 700 microwave, so I'm gonna use the old reliable ceramic safety furnace. So here we go. I'm gonna get the reference voltages. The Kodiak is sitting at 12.51. And I'm first going to put the fan, then I'm going to put it on low, and we have 300, 400, 500, rising 500. Six hundred watts, seven hundred watts. We are there. One minute twenty two. So now we're going to let it run. Just going to let it run. And there's the amps. So the wattage increasing some. But you'll get a feel of two minutes on 700 amps. Sixty-four amps, eleven point five nine volts. So now we're approaching a one minute. Now, not yet. So we are right here. We're one minute at 700 amp, but we're really 741. I mean, 741 watts. He wanted 700 watts. That's what he wanted. So the Kodak is holding at 11.56, 64 amps, and he's looking for 700 watts. So we are close enough to 700 watts. And when we finish with this, I'll talk about the battery bank theory of the Kodiak. So we're close enough to 700 that we could, it's worse, it's more severe than 700. So here we're about to enter two minutes. We got two minutes now. I'll just hold it a few seconds more. And I had it on low maximum heat turn it off now and 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 it ran for 331 so we got two minutes of of the uh, two minutes of the uh, we got two minutes of the uh, I'm running it at 700 and which I recorded, but I don't ha I don't have the voltage, but I want you to notice the voltage is rising. Okay? In my notes uh, I'll 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 indicate what it was at the uh, at the uh, 2 minutes. But the voltage is rising and I'm going to give you guys a little a little theory. So here we go. <clears throat> the Kodiak does not have a lithium battery. It has a lithium battery bank. And the coder has three batteries. Okay, that's what makes it a bank. Three, not one. And this is not a wiring diagram. It's a graphical example of what is happening since every time I drew with a wiring diagram, it got too confusing. So, um, we have the negative and we have the positive 
positive lead. I would just want to raise, look at this for now. So we're still at 12.26, okay? So what happened is when the load, the 700 load hit the batteries, it hit the negative and the positive and came across it. And this battery and got this battery got drained. And this battery, this battery had a higher voltage. And because it had a higher voltage, it's now sending that voltage to either side of the batteries, raising all three up to the same level. And that's the energy battery management system. Okay? And it comes with it. It's built in it. And their concept is to always keep the three batteries at the same voltage. Okay? That's the concept, to always keep the batteries at the same voltage. So, we are now up to 12.2 volts. And I'm going to give you guys, while we're waiting, might as well. What makes the Kodiak such a good thing is that they try to get the voltage as high as they can, as quickly as they can. And the reason why is that that means you have lower, you have lower amps. The higher the voltage, the lower the amps in order to meet the watts needs. Okay, and, and when I ran, if you look at the two and a half hour test, toward the end when the Kodiak was really, really fighting it, not only did the amps go up, but the watts went up. You know, because the amps were so high, the, hand, the amps were so high, and I'll, I'll put a link to that particular one where I, I load bank the Kodiak. So I moved the inverter into the van, and I like to say the test was done with no, no solar on it. And the uh, inverter sitting inside the van with no solar in it. Because we're trying to see how the batteries equalize on the battery management system. So it's one hour since I did it last time. And we're up to 12.33. So it's slowly rising, not that much. I'll go over it. In a second, I'm just indicate 12.33, 60 minutes. Okay, so this is how it went. Um, when we were doing the load bank, we were at 11.54. Then the second one disconnected the 700 watt load, 750 watt load. We were at 12.14, which is a 3.46 seconds. Then, um, then uh, 5.04 seconds, we were up to 12.26. And now we are at 60 minutes into it, and we are at 12.33. So it's still slowly rising. Don't know how long it'll rise, and I'm not going to collect. I'm not con connecting solar to it tonight, and I'll check it an hour from now and see how it's going. But I'll quickly give you a review. The Kodiak generator and the K2 will both have three lithium batteries, and the three lithium batteries make up a lithium bank, a bank of batteries, and they uh, use the battery management system to equalize it. And that's why I think it's a, such a great product. And I'll come back in an hour and we'll take another reading. It's now two hours since we did uh, the drainage uh, with the the 750 watts on it. The voltage is identical to to what we had an hour ago. So we are now saying equalization between the three batteries is done.